I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and the person that you're currently dealing with, we'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Four of Wands, and it's with the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands can be about new beginnings. It can be about fresh new starts. And it's a very powerful new beginning. Yeah, it looks like the wand is just sitting there in the air. But no, it's actually burst into the air. Really powerful and strong and forceful. So this is telling me that you got some great new beginning. Could be with, it could have been with someone that you met that was new. Or someone that you already knew someone that or someone that you were already involved with and it felt like a, a great new beginning or if it was someone that you were already dealing with it was a fresh new start there was a lot of passion that the both of you felt for each other yeah a lot of passion because the wands can be about passion you got the ace of wands and you also got the Four of Wands. And the both of you felt like this could actually go somewhere. Yeah. Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. So you felt like this connection could actually lead to something. Marriage, marriage, commitment, childbirth, proposal, living together. Yeah, so that's the reason past energy between you and your person. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Temperance. Temperance card, and it's with the Prince of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. Prince of Cups. These are new cards for me, so I'm trying to get acquainted with them. Prince of Cups. There's a Princess of Cups in this deck, and then there's the Prince of Cups. Princess of Cups is the Page of Cups. That's what I'm trying to say. And the Prince of Cups is the Knight. So this is even better. The Knight of Cups is here for what's coming up. And it's with temperance. So, Virgo, this is telling me that your person, they could be reaching out to you being very romantic and sensitive. This is what the Knight of Cups does. And they could be feeling like it's their way of just keeping balance in the connection. Because temperance is about balance. Yeah, letting any grief of the past, letting that be gone. So, you could be dealing with someone who's very romantic and sensitive. Whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, and that's what this prince, prince of cups can be. But it's a knight of cups, so it's not a prince. I was saying it was a prince. I'm trying to get acquainted with this new deck. I don't know why they call the prince. I don't know why they call the prince. But anyway, it throws me off. But this prince of cups is actually a knight. It is not a page. Okay, so I'm not gonna e I'm not gonna erase this. I'm gonna uh, upload this just like it is. So forgive me for getting the the words mixed up. This is a new deck. But that prince of cups that you see. That's a knight. It's even better than a page. So your person is coming up. They'll be romantic and sensitive, trying to keep the balance and the connection. Yeah, 
for some of you, this is someone that you dealt with before. And they know the importance of being, being loving, romantic. So they do, they want to keep the stability in the connection. And they, they know this is a good way to do it. So that's what's coming up. Now let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Ten of Pentacles and it's with the King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in the reading. It's happy overall, everything. Everything is good when you get the Ten of Pentacles. Happy wife, happy life, happy kids, happy dog, happy friends, happy family, happy siblings. Just everything is good when you get the Ten of Pentacles. The money is good. There's just money everywhere. The, when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. See all those pinnacles everywhere? He's got pinnacles on his, hanging off his arm. His daughter is hanging a pinnacle on the door. His wife has a pinnacle on her handbag. And I'm sure the dog is probably sitting on a pinnacle. Just money everywhere. The furniture has pinnacles on it. So, so the challenge can be that, yeah, things are going good. It's not much of a challenge. Things are going good, really good for you and your person. King of Cups is here also. So you could be reaching out to this person with a lot of love. King of Cups, whenever you hear the word King or Queen of Cups, in the tarot, that's a lot of love. Emotions. So you're getting emotionally invested in this. In a real big way. King of Cups, Queen, Queen of Cups are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life. No matter what your situation is. When you get the King of Cups in a reading. And this is how you're feeling about your person. Ten of Pentacles can mean marriage and commitment. So yeah, this connection could be going somewhere. It feels really good about right now. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Nine of Swords. And it's with this Seven of Pentacles. Now, for some for some reason, with the Nine of Swords, it's indicating um, someone could be having some anxiety, nightmares, or some worry. Your person could be going through something, some sleepless nights. Sleepless Nights is the Nine of Swords. For some of you, something could be troubling your person about the connection. Yeah. Or they could be the type of person that just have has anxiety. Some people are um, have that naturally. And because it's with the Seven of Pentacles, um, Seven of Pentacles can be about Reaping the rewards, reaping the rewards, reaping the benefits of the time and effort and energy that you put into something. So you can be feeling like, you, well, you just need to show your person that you're willing to work, work on this connection to get it to grow or to help them get through whatever anxiety issues they're having. It could be about, Seven of Pentacles can be about um, working, it can be about wanting the wanting something to really work. That's what I'm trying to say. So you could be feeling like you just need to show your person that you really want this to work this time. And if it's someone new, you could just be showing them that you really want this connection to make it. Because they have some sleepless nights, some worries, 
could be about something that's going on with them or with the connection. And yeah, you're trying to make them feel better by letting them know and showing them that you you really want this connection to make it. So that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, which will be in, an which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you in the next reading. And take care.